What up? John in the middle here again. Another art video thing. Still haven't figured out what I'm gonna call these things. Uh, bear with me. <laughs> so I posted something earlier today on LinkedIn and a fellow creative gave me a tip and was like, make a video about what art is, like what exactly qualifies as art. And I thought it was a good idea, so here we go. <laughs> Art is anything that takes skill and creativity. Skill and creativity. Now, this is my personal definition, my opinion, based on experience, based on being a maker, based on actually doing this shit. Day in and day out. In my opinion, most of the time, the skill is a result. The skill and the creativity are a result of talent that's natural right and then like a muscle you exercise it and it gets strong and then you figure out what you're going to do with that muscle how you're going to flex it how you're going to utilize it how is it going to relate to the world around it and that's in my opinion my personal definition of what art is so let's be more specific right obviously fine art right so painting drawing that's what i do Right? That's the kind of art that I make, as well as videos, motion graphics, editing, also things that I do. <laughs> Architecture, dance, writing, literature, poetry. Mm. Let's keep it going. Fashion, um, animation, like cartoons, film, movies, uh, opera, which is music <laughs> why did it take me so long to get to music about things music what else what else what else what else interior design furniture design urban design like city planning right like planning blocks and where buildings go and this and that um, graphic design communication design ux user experience you know, mm, typography, website design, all these things are in fact art. And, and that, that to me, in my opinion, that was easy. Like figuring that out was easy. Sharing that with you guys was easy. The bigger question to me, in my opinion is, how is it that a lot of us have gotten to where we're at in life and we need to clarify what exactly counts as art is art that like removed from everyday life that that's where we're at i think as a result of the history of art and art materials being utilized by the rich because they were expensive right like canvas was expensive I'm talking about like during the Italian Renaissance type shit, like 1400s and shit like that. Oil paint was expensive. The space to paint safely with oil paint is expensive. A lot of people don't realize oil paint is not some shit that you're supposed to paint with in a small space with no windows. That's not no kosher shit. You're not supposed to, you're not, a, you're not supposed to do that shit. That is not, that's not the wave. In a perfect world, you're painting with oil paint in like a, something that's at least like, a third the size of like a basketball gym with windows that are open wide you know what i mean and a space to let the pieces dry you know, oil paint oil paint ain't no walk in the park in any way shape or form another reason why i primarily use watercolor watercolor uh, acrylic gouache and acrylic uh you know oil is and, and again let's be clear i get busy with oil let's not let's not play that game however Oil, oil is a lot of work. You got to be safe about it. That said, and and then and it's expensive. It's expensive today, and it was expensive during the Italian Renaissance. And as a result, primarily rich people, wealthy people, people, people who had the money to patronize an artist, to commission an artist, were the people that wound up with paintings. Uh, that's another reason why, primarily, a lot of the portraits in European art history 
a lot of the paintings in European art history are portraits because they're capturing the likeness of royalty at the time because royalty can afford to buy art. See, full circle. No problem there, just saying. As a result of rich people having a monopoly on art, historically, in concert with what seems to be, in my, and this is my opinion again, in the minds of most people, art begins and ends at the at the door at the at the front of a museum, at the door of a gallery, at the door of an exhibition, at the door of a this or a that. Yet, you got to get into a car. You got to get into an automobile, which was designed because it's art. And then, and then get to a stop sign, which was designed because it's art, and a tra and a traffic light, which was designed because it's art by a black man, by the way. <laughs> we'll do a whole nother video on those kind of topics. And then, and then you go to the the pizza spot, right? Because you're hungry, you want to slice. So now you've already within an hour after leaving the exhibition, after leaving the gallery, after leaving the museum, you've already in, have, have interacted with art several times. Have we been conditioned to, to recognize a stop sign as art? Because it was designed? Everything that we utilize, technology, tech, how did I even bring up technology? Technology, everything that we utilize on a daily basis is either art or in direct relation, in direct relationship with art. The advertisements that we skip on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the fashion that we look at on Instagram, the interfaces that we click through uh, when we're when we're, when we're um, looking to buy something online from my favorite streetwear line, Goldwater, GoldwaterBrand.com. <laughs> all of these, all of these things, assets, experiences. All of them are art. And the world has not fully utilized the arts yet because of a, a lack of arts literacy. And I'm of the, the subscription that <clears throat> upon uh, a societal 